Welcome to Purely HR. In this video, we'll have a look at Staff, the main module in our suite of HR products. In Staff, you can create employee profiles, set up your departments and offices, and much more. If you want to jump to a certain section of the video, click the timecode in the description below. So let's get started by looking at how to create a new user. From the Staff directory, click on Create User at the right side. Start by choosing the role. The new user can either be an administrator, manager, or employee. Administrators set up and make changes to the account and are able to override any settings. The only thing they can't do is enter time off requests or create time cards or timesheets for themselves. Managers are able to have employees assigned to them to approve their requests, plus they can enter time off requests, timesheets, and time cards for themselves. Employees are able to submit requests, timesheets, and time cards for themselves to be approved by their manager. Note if you are an administrator on the account, but you are also going to be approving requests and entering time for yourself, you are going to need a separate manager account. Select the appropriate role for your new user and continue to fill in the remaining mandatory fields. Once finished, click Save. You'll be brought to their newly created profile. The profile screen is where you can enter personal, contact, and address details. Next, under Employment, you can add details such as job description, job title, hire date, and even start the termination process. More on that later. Under Account, you can change their username, password, change their role from employee to manager or vice versa, deactivate their profile, and send a welcome email to that user. The welcome email contains their login information, which we will look at in detail a little bit later. If you want to keep a history of that user's salary and bonuses, you can do so under the Compensation tab. Under Documents, you will find two folders by default, Account Documents and User Documents. Account Documents will show you all files available for everyone to view, and User Documents will show files only available for that user. Clicking on Notes will allow you to enter notes to that user's profile. You can choose who is able to see the note you created. Skills allows you to see any other abilities this user may have beyond their role and how proficient they are at them. Values will show you if that user supports or demonstrates what your company deems are their values. More on values and skills later. At the right hand side, you can set who that person is managed by. You'll be able to select from a list of managers. If they are a manager, you'll be able to select from a list of employees that they should be managing. Let's turn our attention to the navigation menu at the left side of the screen. Welcome email allows you to send the welcome email to multiple users at once. Check off everyone it will be sent to and click on send welcome emails. You can send the default email or add a message to the bottom that you wish to relay to your users. You can preview the message before sending. The Import Update Users from CSV allows you to upload or update users if you have too many to do one by one. For details on creating those CSV files, click the card at the top right to watch our video specifically for that. User Types allows you to group your employees based upon if they are full-time, part-time, etc. You can assign users to a type by clicking on the Assign button to the right. In Departments, you are able to add departments to your account, assign a department manager, and assign users to that department. You are able to create as many offices as you wish under Offices and assign users to that office. To add paid holidays to your account, click on Paid Holidays, then click on Import Holidays. Select the year you want to add the holidays to and your country. 
From the list, check off the holidays you observe, and then select which offices these holidays apply to. Then click Import. If there are any that are not on the list, click on Create Holiday to add a holiday to any of your offices. In Documents, you can create multiple folders with different permissions. Within each folder, you can upload a document and require that the user sign saying that they have read that document once they've downloaded it. When you click on the Audit Trail button, you can see who downloaded it and who signed it. Skills is a great way for your users to let you know what other talents they have. You can add or remove skills from this list for you or your users to add to their profiles and select their proficiency with those skills. Company values allows you to enter qualities that your company sees as important. Users can then choose to agree with these values. The staff report allows you to add up to nine columns of information to a single report. This is great if you wanted to create a master list of employees along with other details that you would need. Employee growth and termination reports are populated based upon hire and termination dates respectively. On each report, you can see a graph by year that shows users who were hired and terminated along with a list at the bottom. The age and gender profiles are populated based upon birthdays and the gender field in user profiles. Each report shows a graph and a breakdown by department. The office chart is populated based upon the office and department information you previously entered. In account settings, you can select how much information managers can see in their employees' profiles, select if managers are able to edit their employees' profiles, choose how much information users can see in their own profiles and if they can edit that information, allow users to be entered with no email address or hired date, and if you want to disable skills and company values. Module access allows you to choose who has access to what module. Click on the Manage User Access button to the right to select or deselect users who would have access to that module. Finally, the termination process allows you to create a checklist of things you need to do when you terminate an employee. This ensures you don't forget any crucial steps that need to take place. After completing the checklist, you can create different types of termination that would occur within your company. Lastly, you can add reasons for termination. To terminate an employee, go to the staff directory and click their profile. Click the employment tab and then click the terminate button to begin the termination process. Select the date of termination, the type, and the reason. You can also specify if they are eligible to be rehired. You'll then be brought to a screen that will show the checklist you created. As you complete each task, you can check it off. If you need to leave the screen without losing what you've done, click on Continue Later at the bottom. You can return to the termination process by clicking the Continue button on their profile under Employment. You can also cancel the process by clicking Cancel Termination at the bottom left. Once you've completed the checklist, you have the option to enter any relevant notes under Termination Notes. Check the box stating that you understand what will happen and click Terminate Employee. Once you confirm, the employee will be terminated in staff. If you have any questions, feel free to email our customer success team at support at purelyhr.com. Want to start a free 21-day trial? Go to purelyhr.com to get started. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell icon below to be notified of all of our future how-to videos. Thanks for watching and enjoy Purely HR.